favorite little spot right inside that. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the start of vlog number 15. I am Chad Morrill. I'm the owner of California Waterscapes. We are off and running. We had a lot of rain last week, so we are now waiting for things to dry out. We're gonna be back at it tomorrow. We're gonna be setting some big boulders. Also in this episode, we're gonna be going down to Playa del Rey and seeing the finishing touches of a job we did. We're gonna be looking at the differences, how we build things then and how we build them now. We actually have that mantis shrimp from Logan's house that we've taken over and set up a nice little home in my son's aquarium room he's got going. So we're gonna give you a sneak peek on how the $6 shrimp is looking. Enough of me talking, let's go see how this project looks with some liner in it. So we got this whole project all lined in right now. It's a bit of a mess. I'm gonna make the deep end bigger because uh, I take a lot of pride in the ponds that we build, but also I'm not building them for me, how I want them or how Chewy wants them or Mauricio, we're doing them for how the client wants them. And he wants as much water volume in this thing as possible. So he left me a message over the last couple rainy days and he said, hey, he's got a little concern on the volume and if we could maximize anything, what we could do. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually dig this thing out. We're gonna dig it out much bigger I'm gonna take the deep end all the way down here. So we're gonna take all those rocks out. We're gonna redig this little area here, maximize the liner we do have. So that way, uh, when this thing's done, client's stoked and they love it. And see some progress. Hopefully get some water in this thing and waterfalls go. All right, good morning, everybody. Well, it feels like spring has finally sprung here in Southern California. The rain is gone. We are back here in Playa del Rey checking out the project that we did, that we remodeled after installing 18 years ago. So let's check it out. Happy Koi. They're doing really good. We got their big fish cave under there that they're able to get to. We actually have two purposes with this fish cave. One for the fish to duck under there, the other for the turtle to get out. As you can see, the stream is much more natural looking now. Uh, we did the best we could with this area. Obviously, all these plants need to grow in. These are creeping jenny that will then cover up a lot of these rocks. The coarse grasses will blow up as well too. Much more natural looking waterfall. The koi are happy and the client is happy, the turtles are happy. We took seven of them over to a uh, turtle refuge and they are finding new homes, so that's awesome. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can see a lot of other projects go in the ground. We're gonna shoot over to Porter Ranch right now, see how the boys are doing. It's, I hear it's a little muddy over there still, but thank God the sun's out, we can dry that out, and we will uh, set some big boulders and get that massive koi pond under construction. All right, see ya. So I decided to come take a look at another project here in Glendora. This is a pretty good sized pond, like a double decker sized pond that we did, uh, total retrofit for, and uh, it's about a month ago, and apparently there's a lot of toads doing their thing in there and polywogs all over the place, but the customer's stoked, they're really happy with it, so let's go check it out a month later. New pond on the inside. We're gonna do natural rocking all the way around the outside. We got some koi fish in here. This is the under area. We're gonna reuse all the rock we can. We're gonna get rid of those and filter there. We're gonna just have a new waterfall come down, skimmer in this spot, just rock it in. We're gonna get rid of that little area so it's a little bit better access. He's gonna definitely have some toads going on here, but that's uh, what we like to do, you know? I mean, this was a big valley down in here. I'm sure sometime there was some water. So when they built all these homes and kind of took the water away, we like to give a little back. So that's what we do, and Mother Nature's just doing its thing. 
I was just talking to the client. He said the pond was really murky right when we put it in. Obviously it gets a lot of sun. And then as soon as the beneficial bacteria started to kick in overnight, cleared up. So it's still getting established. Some of the plants are still in shock a little bit. Butterflies everywhere. The mountains are green. Look at that. There's snow in the mountains up there. The client did a lot of this himself. It's really cool. It's kind of a bog area. This pond actually had a kind of a dead spot here. So rather than just filling it in with dirt, we actually brought the liner all the way back to this area here. You can see it back here, the liner, so that this would all get soaked with water from the pond, feed the plant. So it's an area he doesn't have to irrigate. Feeding the turtles. They're coming out of hibernation. They're about to enjoy springtime and summer coming. Break from my afternoon here. We're gonna come over to my house and check out my son's setup with the $6 mantis in there. He's also got a little patio pond in his room. He's got a fish tank. He's got a real pond right outside his patio in the back door. So pretty, pretty relaxing place. One of our favorite spots to hang out in the house. So check it out. So it's kind of a double decker pond. We got about a, you know, 16 by eight down there, another four by six pond up here. It's one of our favorite spots to kind of come out. The kids can play in the streams and stuff. I hang out here. The best part is you get to open up his doors and enjoy the sound of waterfalls and pond. So here you can see the $6 shrimp. That's his favorite little spot right inside that mouth of the uh, shark right there. I actually got a little worm here. I think he eats it. All right, well, I'm not sure that the worm is quite what the shrimp likes to eat. We're learning <laughs> as we go, but we're gonna definitely find some pretty cool uh, things for the shrimp to go after, and we'll document that on this uh, channel down the road. My son loves it. The thing just glows at night. We really enjoy having the shrimp in the saltwater tank. Probably gonna put some clownfish or something in there. So you can see he's got a little patio pond with some of his favorite goldfish here, freshwater tank with some little guys in there. But this is the star of the show, obviously. You get to open up these doors and uh, enjoy this. All right, pretty cool. So that's my boys set up there. I got to get back to work, go check out some projects. Stay tuned. All right, good afternoon. We're back here in Porter Ranch. We are checking in on the guys. Let's see how the progress is going here. All right, so this project's coming together really nicely. As you can see, we got the two bile falls up on top. Uh, we got this one that's gonna be coming down this side, mainly feeding this section of waterfalls. We got this other bile falls here is gonna be coming down. We got this big wide open area. We're setting our paver levels. Uh, guys got the stakes going in. We got another skimmer. It's gonna be going over here on this side. It goes down super deep, as you can see here. We got jets going in down at the bottom. There's one right there is gonna be actually shooting that way. We're gonna have another in the deep end here, kind of pushing up that way. So as you can see, the, the extension arm on the excavator gets us from about 45 feet from one side of the project to the other side. So it also, saves a lot of man hours and uh, just physical strain to move a rock like that from one side of the project to the other. We can have access like this where we at least have six, seven feet of access where we could go in and out of the backyard. It's pretty rare here in LA, but it comes in super handy when we do because we are able to use our excavator 
and our extension arm and use larger boulders and set them with more accuracy and not have to kill ourselves when we need to move it just like an inch or so. All right, we're gonna head out to the next job. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can see this thing filled up with water and uh, see you next time.